Hey guys, I'm back. I'm recording this episode right after I recorded the fourth episode, which I recorded right after the third. So I'm on a streak. Yeah. Um. Right now, we need some hooch. It says so in the thingy. Um. So let's stop Tredner. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Uh... What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Uh, guessing the huge is the part that I always get slightly stuck on. I just slow down quite a bit. Uh. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. Hello. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Um, yeah. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? The Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Okay. Um... I can help you deliver soup, but I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Uh, As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? Oh, my mouse is gonna stick in. Just a bit. And I'm back. Uh, so I just need to pick a random one. I'll stay, I'll stay, this the stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. But that meeting isn't scheduled to start for a little while. And we wouldn't want them eating cold soup. Yeah. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Just do a random one. The orphanage! My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. All right, Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, 
Soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Speckle. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Ugh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Um... What about those barrels? What about them? What kind of soup is that? It's not so... Uh, uh, it's special soup. What's special about it? It's, uh... It's made for grown-ups, kid. A <laughs> soup for grown-ups? That's right, kid. Be nosy. See where it gets you. <laughs> um, okay. Excuse me. You talking to me? Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? He smiles and then his face is grumpy. And there's no soup in that bowl. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Uh, what's a Coolidge thing? Blah, blah, blah. Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? And his face is grumpy again. Okay. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Actually, he can do something from out here. Okay. Eureka! Yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. Pretty neat, Doc. 
<laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Okay, soup. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little... Uh, color. Color? Hmm. In the actual film, Marty would never be so smart, he's actually the first big idiot. It's me who's smart. Ahem. <clears throat> well, what do you have to bash it right now? Eh? Ah, Miss Strickland! Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. <clears throat> so, right now, right now, um, the hooch is going to be given to. Well, basically, the hooch is going to go to um, Emmett's place or his father's, blah, whatever. Um, and I think I can't, can't really pause the game after that, so I think I'm going to, I'll just check the time of the video and I'll make a decision. Okay, I looked at the time and it is kind of like, it's over 10 minutes. I try to keep my videos to 10 to 15 minutes, so yeah. I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll get the really rocket power thrill. And then that's the hardest part, pretty much. Because I, I always get something wrong. There's never been a time when I didn't get it wrong. Um, but, see ya! Bye. Um, slight problem. Um, I can't actually save the game here, so I'll just have to carry on with this episode. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit from my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. I'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? 
But it's still impossible. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! T tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! This is a tough part. Father! Don't you father me, child! You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer! This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Someday you are going to You will need to learn. learn. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! <laughs> you are going to find out. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. I hope someday you have children and you will look. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. <laughs> You're going to find out. <laughs> ah, halfway there. Concentration. Damn it! Keep up the good work. They really hate each other. <laughs> Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Oh, no. Mouse disconnected at the worst time possible. Okay, let's return.
your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Don't hold your head. Sunday! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Please. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Calm down, calm down. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Hold your head. Sunday! You got me? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! The Von Brauns have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to men. Damn it. Calm down, calm down. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Sunday! Almost there. Inmat! Uh, coming, father! Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Stop being such a crank! Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air! There, I said it! Try Galileo's rotations! Do you ever listen to- No! This way they won. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't Every you turn time. your back on me! Why are you always bellowing at me? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father. You probably have Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? That's a musician. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. You are going to learn, boy. You learn. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. Oh. What? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about... I'd say... I feel sorry for everybody here. <laughs> I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. 
I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. I hope I can uh, save it now because this episode is way too long. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! not supposed to be Duck! they're moving him to another facility for safekeeping oh I better go get a quote from the police chief paddy wagon intercepted suspect slain and they're still after him how am I gonna rescue him now I'm gonna check if I can save here hopefully I can yep I have saved it, so see you next time. In the next episode, we will save Doc and I'll be quiet for all the credits part. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. See you in the next one.